What's up, y'all? Let's get into it with Amina because I was eating my crab cakes and my jalapeno salt pickles. Yeah, don't don't judge. And I've just been getting called to do this reading. It's a quickie. It's called, Are They Putting Black Magic, Evil Eyes, or Sending Negative Thoughts Your Way? Or My Way? Whichever way you want to take it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick a number from one, two, or three. And I'm going to pull you four cards and let you know if the person you're thinking of is hating on you or in any way, shape, or form, you need to let them go. So if you choose the number one, here we go. Can you trust this person? Strength. The person you're thinking of may be a Leo or a fire sign of some sort. Um, Can you trust them? Yeah, to an extent. I feel like you need to be strong with this person. That uh, they seem to think that they know you and that they can have a way to your heart. It's just making me feel like they feel like they can get to your heart. They feel like you're like a lion, but they can calm you like the lamb. So they do feel like they have a bit of a control over you. Um, can you trust them? I guess you could trust them, but you got to be strong. You got to know what to share with them, what not to share. All right. Do they have bad intentions towards you? Mm, not really. This person feels like things just didn't go fair between y'all. A part of them is looking, this is justice reverse. A part of them feels like um, some things that occurred between you guys just wasn't right on their end. They feel like you did something to them. So, mm, do they have bad intentions towards you? Not really. They just feel like there's a wrong that need to be, needs to be righted. Um, is this a friend or a hater? Let's see. Is this your hater? They could hate on you to an extent. This is somebody who feels like their ship is not coming in. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting either for you to come around or waiting for something to come for them. And they feel like things are coming in for you, but not for them. So they're probably hating on you to an extent. All right. And what could you do to protect yourself from this person? Because it's like, it's not like they're really a friend in the sense of a word friend, if they're hating on you, but it's, they're really not wishing you horrible things. They just wish that you would right the wrong, that something would go right for them or in their favor. So what do you do to protect yourself from them? Or do you need to do anything at all? Well, they're saying have a good freaking time and ignore this person. That's your best bet with them. You don't really need to protect yourself from them. Okay. You need to just go out, enjoy yourself, follow your passions because yeah, they write about you. The stuff you want, you love is coming in. Oh, well, keep it moving. If you felt drawn to number two, can you trust this person? No, not really. This person does not want to see you happy. They feel like you're getting your emotional fulfillment. They feel like you're about to be in happy, happy, joy, joy land without them. And they don't like it. Damn, that pretty much answers everything. Do they have bad intentions towards me? Mm, they worry. They think about you. They don't really have. They're not sitting and thinking about doing bad things towards you. But you are stressing their head. They almost feel like. Like y'all got some kind of beef going on and it might be just in their mind or it's in your mind, but they feel like something did not end the way they wanted to and that you just went on and got on, got on with your happy life and they do not want to see you happy. They do not. So you really can't trust them because they would do things to keep you from your happiness, but they really, it's like a love hate energy with this one. Sorry guys. They love you. They can't stand you at the same time. Is this a friend or a hater? Um, This is somebody who went from a friend to a hater. Death and rebirth. So it's like somebody who goes back and forth. They they love you. They're your friend. Then they can't stand you. They don't want to see you grow. Then they love you and they just wish they could be in your energy. And then they can't stand you because you don't really want them in your energy. Why? Because they're a flip flopper. Okay. What could you do to protect yourself from them? Or do you need to at all? Be by yourself. Don't fuck with this person. The hermit is here. Do your spiritual work. You see the truth in this person. You already see who they are. You must be thinking of somebody that you already kind of figured out already. And they're confirming for you. This person, don't chill with them. Fuck them. 
All right, if you felt drawn to the number three, here you go. Can you trust this person that you're thinking of? No, you can't. This person is sneaky. Oh, they are the seven of swords reversed. They are up to shit. They are the types that will be doing stuff behind your back. This is backstabber energy. Somebody that'll be like smiling in your face and then do stuff behind your back. Or they won't smile in your face at all. Um, do they have bad intentions towards me? Most likely if they're deceiving. Um, well, I'm getting that right now. It's almost like they're not plotting on you, but something bad's about to happen. Something's about to happen that's going to expose them before they could do anything. So right now they're watching you. They're not liking your glow up. I feel like you're having a glow up or something. They're not liking it, but they're behind the shadows. I feel like this is somebody that talks about you behind your back um, to family members or to friends. And something's going to happen that's going to expose this. Um, is this a friend? No, this is not a friend of yours. You need to keep your guards up. Seven of Wands, reverse. Stand your ground against this person. Keep your boundaries up. Keep your guards up. They may not be doing anything like black magic-y right now, but they surely have no good intentions for you. They do not want to see you. They don't want to see you bloom. Uh, they don't. Um, do you need to protect yourself from this person? Uh, most likely, they just said you did. Um... We got six of cups reverse. All of these cards have been reversed for this person. Um, I do feel like this is somebody who you do need to be a little bit on guard. There's somebody who comes through as a friend. This is somebody you've known from the past. This feels like a, either an ex-lover or ex-friend. You've known them for a while. They always come back and resurface like, hey, I want to be cool. But then they do some shit. Um, no, don't don't let this person back in. Overall, my people, it seems like all three of these people are kind of shifty shady. Um, middle of the deck, all of them have the same vibe. They don't want to see you prosper. Okay? That's the number one thing. Besides that person that didn't want to see you happy either, whoever chose that path. They don't want to see you financially prosper. And for that reason, what those this person? Get them out your life. Don't fuck with them no more. Okay? So... On that note, I'm going to get back to eating my food, and I hope that helps somebody out there. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my life tribe. I ain't never going to let nobody try to play y'all. Later.